adult love. love. Yeah. Like I love it. Hey guys, it's Shelby and Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. We have a fun video today where we are taking you on our most recent home tour. So we love to accompany every blog post that has all the photos and the shop links with a video as well. So um, this is actually what mom just pointed out, the oldest home we've ever toured. That's right, 1886. So it was, um, it's called the Morrow House and another really fun, exciting thing about this house is it was featured on HGTV's Fixer Upper. So Joanna Gaines has been in this house. I feel like that gave us some yeah. Jojo right. Juju. Yeah, something. Something. <laughs> so, we, um, we were really excited. Mom actually, we decided to go to Waco, which is about an hour and a half from us because mom wanted to get the baby a bunny because all babies should have a bunny. So, we decided to make this a productive road trip and took the home tour. So, That's right. um, the house was built in 1886, like we said, from a, um, a Russian immigrant named Jacob built it, who was a jewelry store owner in Waco. I think they said it was on Austin Avenue, the jewelry store. And then in 2017, they were gonna tear the house down. Designer saved it, yep. Mm -hmm. And so now the homeowner Kimberly bought it and it is a beautiful Airbnb that you can go stay in if you'd like. So if you wanna do a little Waco girls trip or just get a little retreat, yeah. get away, it's a really awesome place. So let's start with right when you walk in the house, the grand entrance which is the dining room you yeah i think a formal dining room would not be so grand of an entrance but it made such a statement yeah real high ceiling real narrow look straight off into the back which was a beautiful uh patio area yeah and so it was just really fascinating yeah so on the wall there's a giant picture of frank sinatra it's his mug shot he was put in, he was arrested for lust he had a married woman with him he was, he was with a married woman so, if you Google it, he was, uh, it's a pretty funny story. Because, you know, if you look at today, it's like right after Thanksgiving in 1938, I think. And um, he was arrested. He was caught with another with another woman who was married. So that was lust. Yeah. And that was his charge, was lust. Actually, um, he was, his mugshot, he was arrested for seduction. Band who, you know, sexy. Sexy. <laughs> We don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess he was flirting with a married woman. Yes. And they took that very seriously back then, which I, I feel like, let's go back. Let's go back in time. <laughs> let's take a little more seriously. But I just thought it was so cool that that was like her, you know, statement in that room. It was really simple. The shiplap on the wall is original, which I thought was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, um, the hardwoods were new. The hardwoods were new, but they did a little trick where they actually left, they put the hardwoods down before they started any of the construction, left them there for all the workers to trounce upon with all their equipment and tools, Yeah. and it made them actually look old. Yeah, so instead of restoring hardwoods, which, you know, 1886, that's really old, and so they just built Beat on them. them. Yeah. yeah. And, so, and, and it looks old. Oh yeah, you'd never know. You'd never know. And so yeah, that was really original. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so next, let's do the living room. I My favorite part about the living room is the giant chandelier, which I think she said was vintage. Yes. Um, and then the mixed upholstered furniture. She has that kind mm -hmm. of slender, interesting sofa. and then Restoration the, hardware. Yeah. Um, did a great job. The designer did a really, really good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then the kitchen, which mm -hmm. I think was my favorite space in the house. Right. Beautiful pocket doors, which were open. I'm not sure if we got a shot of that, but um, that lead into this wonderful kitchen. And a lot of, um, it just felt like home. Yeah. It felt like home to me. Yeah. But top end appliances and yeah. some really neat I, things. I feel like the cabinets going all the way up just made the kitchen that wasn't huge feel really big, mm -hmm. which I think that was my very favorite part. Yes. Guest room. On the way to the guest room, I loved her um, guest book. Mm -hmm. It was, do you remember what her guest book was? 
It was actually a little five by sevens that you hung from a little chain. For everyone who came in, wrote a note and then put it on a chain that yeah. kind of lined the wall into the guest room. Yeah. Really neat. Yeah. And then there was two other guest rooms, of course, and they were just a lot of mixed vintage and new. I feel like she did that really well across the house. A lot mm -hmm. of just, yeah. you know. Old and new. Old and new mm -hmm. vintage pieces. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite was the bathroom in the back. You already had a favorite. Can't have oh, two favorites. My second favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I will tell, actually, my favorite is the bathroom in the back because she had a vintage sink that we put Quinn in, yeah. the baby, and it just was so, so cute. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, if you if you go visit, I guess I'm not the first one to stick my baby in it because actually Kimberly suggested yep. that we stick Quinn in it, and that that tub was so cute. And I I can't remember what the art over the tub says, like something about fear, I think. But it just made a statement, and it looked so homey. Homey. Want to take a bath? Yeah, want to take a bath. So, and I don't normally want to take a bath, but no. <laughs> Hotels or Airbnbs, but I think I'd do it. I yeah. think there's something different about about the Morrow House. You just mm -hmm. it feels you, like home. Yeah, you don't yeah. care how many naked butts have been in the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's probably that sexy picture of <laughs> Frank Sinatra when you walk in. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that was a, it. Was a really fun house. We love every single detail from the flooring to the shiplap to just the combination with old and new um i just it makes me want to go thrifting but it also makes me want to save an old house yeah. yeah and spend the night at airbnb yeah um and and go on a girl's trip to waco yeah. i feel like we should do that i feel like we, really we should. should yeah yeah so um and if you would i'll put in some clips of mom with her new bunny that she oh got oh my goodness y'all i should get the bunny now no, we, we should get the bunny. You now. got a dog already. What was you think? Do you want me to put this in the backpack? No, it's okay. What's his name? I thought you named him. I did not name him. I thought you named him Hoppy. I did not name him. I think his name should be Artie. Yeah. Artie's a really cute name. But yeah, the. The um, the bunny, very sweet, very so sweet. worth the drive. Definitely. Um, but if you're going to Waco to buy a bunny, I do suggest you bring a bunny <laughs> cage. Container. Container. <laughs> I had to take everything out of my purse, and then we put the bunny in my purse with straw in the bottom, yeah. and yeah. We also did a little shopping. We went to the findery, which was yeah, really that was fun. Had fun. nice lunch. Mm -hmm. Yummy lunch. Yeah. So, so Waco's fun. It's a quick trip for us. Might be a little farther for others, but either way, the Morrow House is your ticket if you're looking for an Airbnb. So I hope that you enjoyed our home tour of the Morrow House. Make sure that you head to the blog to look at all the photos that our amazing photographer Charlie took, along with all the shop links that I have collected with a few more details about the house. We've written a little bit more um, than we've said. So if you want more details, which you should, it's amazing and beautiful, yeah. make sure you head there. Make sure that you subscribe below and like this video. And we will see you next time, guys. Bye. Have a great day.